Greetings, WordPressers. Jackson here. How are you? Good to have you, as always. Another cheeky vid here, a bit of an update to something we all need in our website building world, which is transparent header. Oh, yes, indeed. You know, logo, site title, menu, above uh, an image, that kind of thing. I think you know what we're talking about. Anyway, thought I'd uh, do a little remake for the block theming worlds that we are now living in. So here we go with a pretty swift-ish tutorial. Transparent headers for block themes, two ways. Right then, transparent headers like this. Two versions, as I mentioned. We've got a little site here, very basic, plain old site, bit of a hero going on, and we want our header, that's the top bit here, we want that in front of the content in a transparent way. Let's sort that out. So there's two methods, as I mentioned, and we've got this homepage here, and I've got one called the cover version. We're gonna show you what the cover block version looks like first. Let's go to our admin and go to our pages and there's our cover version page and let's get our list view opened up and there is our cover so inside this cover you can see we've got two columns for the round image and the content there and so we could right click and go insert before and inside there put a row and we'll make that row wide width so i'm using the i'm keeping the toolbar next to the content next to the element that we're editing on this tutorial i'm a bit so you know that you can go to the ellipsis here and go top toolbar and it puts everything up there so wherever you are clicking it changes up there and i've been kind of half warming to the keeping the toolbar near the element i'm, I'm still 50 50 but anyway for this tutorial, let's keep it above the element. So back to our row, that's our row. We've made it uh, wide width. So inside our row, which we actually need to make horizontal, which it is, and justify left, which it is, let us put in our site title. There's our title. And after that, we just right click, insert after, or add after, We'll put in some navigation. Oh, yes, we will. There's our nav. And on our row, we actually have to use the setting for the justification to space between those elements. And then we've got our elements left and right. Let's go update. Let's go to the front end and give that a refresh. Yeah, kind of working. You'll spot a couple of things. Number one, we've still got a header. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, number two, obviously, the spacing's a little bit weird. So let's see what's going on there. So with cover blocks, let's go back to it, highlight our cover again. See this little fella here, the content position, open that up. And you see at the moment it says the content is center, which essentially means however tall the content is, it's, it's gonna be in the middle. And you can see what happens uh, when we put it to the top, everything jumps up and let's update that, refresh our front end. So one issue is with using the cover block is that because all the content is governed by the that content position setting, we'll need to compensate for that by on our column, we're gonna add before and in there, we'll just put a spacer. Probably a little, little big. Let's just make the actual cover a bit bigger. Update that, save that. And yeah, I mean, maybe the space is probably too big now. So that, yeah, so we're winning here, apart from we've still got a header. So what we'll need to do is we will need to go to our, get, a, get our admin open in another tab, go to our editor. We'll need to create a new template because obviously on this page, we are using the template pages. And the only other template we've got to swap to is the blank page, which means we lose the footer. But it's super simple to create a new template by using the existing one as the base for it. Let's get back to our editor tab. So we've got our templates here. And if you see, that's our pages one, which has the, we look at that, you see we have the header, content, footer. Oops, let's get back to there. Let's create a new one and we'll make it a custom template and we'll, and we'll just call it page, no header. Create that and we can use the existing regular page as the template and we can simply open up our list view and 
delete the header, save that, save, back to our cover version page. We'll refresh that so that we can get to our template choice here. And we, if we do swap template, we now have the page no header, brand new template. Let's update that. Back to our front end, refresh. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Now I've got to be honest, that's not my favorite way of doing things. I did say there was two versions. So let's take a look at my preferred method, which is actually keeping the main header there, but using a little bit of CSS to make things work for us. So that's our cover version. Let's go back to the home page, which is our regular version. If we just inspect things here, there's our header. That's the main page. There's our header there. I'm just going to get my little ruler tool here out and roughly say that that is, what's that about? 80 odd, 80 pixels. Okay. And if we create a new rule here and go min height, 80 px and we put a margin bottom minus 80 px disappears it's now pulling itself down but it's put itself behind the cover so we need to sort that out first with the z index we make that sort of like huge but it has no effect because there's currently no position on that element so let's put a position on there of relative and hey, presto, we do have our transparent header in front of our content. There you go. You may have noticed the text is doesn't automatically change. That's a good thing with cover blocks. It's kind of like content aware, color aware. So it made the site title and the navigation white automatically. Crazy witchcraft. So we need to sort that out. And there's a real cheeky quick way of doing that with CSS. If we put another rule, same rule, and we put a little asterisk, and that means everything after this rule, the header, the header class, make the color white. Shazam, as simple as that. So we'll copy that rule, the first one. And I've got the theme file here. We've got CSS going on. This is the blank block starter that um, you can download in the description. Very good if you just want to sort of make block things from scratch. Let's get our transparent header in. There you go. And that's our first rule. And then copy our second one. Actually, let's have before that. One. And there we go. Pretty cool. Of course, in reality, I would probably err on you going to the actual template part of the header and adjusting the styles, the colors and stuff there, because you might not just have plain text on there and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, pretty cool, huh? Headers, transparent, lots more to do with block theming. And if you want another cheeky little block theme tip. There's one right there for you. But until next time, I shall see you later.